Accompanied by his disciples, Jesus left the upstairs room and went as usual to the Mount of Olives. There he told his disciples, pray that you will not fall into temptation. Then he walked away about a stone's throw and he knelt down and prayed. Father, if you are willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done and not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And he prayed more fervently. And he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. Finally, he got up and returned to his disciples, only to find them asleep, exhausted from grief. He asked them, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you will not fall into temptation. But as Jesus said this, a crowd approached led by Judas one of the 12 disciples. Judas walked over to Jesus to greet him with a kiss. Jesus asked him, Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? When the other disciples saw what was about to happen, they exclaimed, Lord, should we fight? We brought the swords. And one of them struck at the high priest's slave, slashing off his right ear. And Jesus said, no more of this. Then he went up to the man and touched his ear and he healed him. Then he turned to the leading priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him. And he asked them, am I some dangerous revolutionary that you would come with swords and clubs to arrest me? Why didn't you arrest me in the temple? I was there every day. But now is your moment when the power of darkness reigns. So they arrested Jesus and they took him to the high priest's home. And the guards who was in charge of him mocked and beat him. They blindfolded him and said, prophesy to us, who hit you that time? And they hurled all sorts of terrible insults at him.